Howdy all, this is Shane, and we're looking at the KRK Systems powered monitor, the Rocket 8. Now this is an 8 inch sub, a low frequency speaker, and a horn or a tweeter. These are powered, so you don't need to have an amp, they actually power with a built in amplifier. And you see these in systems all over the place. In nearly every video you look at on YouTube, there's a set of these or there's a set of Yamahas sitting in some studio. For the price, these are awesome. Not only for the price, but for the sound. Like you're getting a monitor that you can learn pretty quickly. And what I mean by that is all studio monitors tend to sound a little different, obviously. Different brands. I picked up on these after a few months, I guess, of using them. I really started to understand how to mix with these. and. I think no matter what speakers you use, as soon as you make a change, you're going to have to change your mix slightly, or you might hear things in the detail that you might not have heard before. These speakers are made from a different sort of material here. I could say it's Kevlar, I think that's their high end, but I think this is more of a, like a polyurethane or something, it's a different, it's not cardboard, it's like a felt slash plasticky kind of feeling stuff. It's really cool and they, they do drive well in terms of their sound, like they, they stay clear and responsive even with a lot of bass heavy mix. So that's pretty cool. And the tweeter is here. And unfortunately it's kind of exposed, like it's a soft rubber and uh, not rubber, it's the same sort of material but it feels rubbery. But it also feels very delicate too, and I'm lucky that uh, I haven't damaged that to some extent yet. And I've had these for over three years, and they were in my studio, and now they're at home where I do all my mixing and recording, which makes things easier. And yeah, like I said, I've had these for about three years, and I did have one of the speakers fail on me in the first year. It wasn't didn't fail so much, it's just the... Uh, started vibrating so under warranty I took it back they replaced that cone re-glued it in place or whatever they do and then uh, it's been fine the great thing about these is the squared base port on the, or the rectangular base port here which is great you don't get a lot of waffle say from a port that would be at the back all right this is the back of the speaker we go from the top down you have a HF level of adjust, which basically is your high frequency level of adjust. It's set to zero in this room, but you can cut it back or add more tops to the speaker by just clicking that. And that white stuff is, I have no idea. But anyway, and if we go down, we have a volume. So I've got it set to zero at the moment. Um, you can turn it up anywhere to plus six decibels all the way to negative 30. I just leave it on zero. Seems to be fine. I guess it depends on the output level of a device to where you want to have this set, but I usually leave it on zero. We've got an RCA input, which I've never used. We've got a balanced TRS input here, jack, and an XLR input as well. I've used both and I can't notice any difference between the sound between these two. So some people might be able to, I, I could. The great thing about these two is this, you actually get to select your voltage. So inside this speaker, they've made them universal. So you could buy these, say if you're in Australia, you could buy them from the US or Canada, import them over. Or I suppose so. if you're in the US you could buy the UK or Australian ones and ship them back depending on where it's cheaper and what the dollar's worth at the time. So these are the KRK monitors, they're big, they're quite heavy, they're well made, they are made in China. But uh, you know like I said there's in other videos there's certain things that are just made well regardless of where they're made and this is one of those items. 
the problem is they are big they are massive massive things so you know what if I was to do this again I'd say I'd probably buy I'd probably get the fives because these are just massive they take up a lot of space and now I don't have the desk I used to have fitting them can be a problem depending on your setup so I'd suggest maybe buying a smaller set unless you've got a really good dedicated space and a good desk to use these so thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know unfortunately videotaping the sound of them is pretty useless so I'm not going to do that it won't really give you any example of how good they actually sound so go into a shop and check them out and order them for, from wherever's cheapest cheers